Welcome back to Paranormasite! Aye-aye-aye-aye-aye-aye-aye-aye-aye-aye-aye-aye-aye-aye-aye-aye-aye-aye-aye-aye-aye-aye-aye-aye-aye-aye-aye-aye-aye-aye-aye-aye-aye-
Still not sure why that stuck me there. Out of sight, out of mind. Those four years, I worked nothing but cases involving the supernatural. <laughs> Seen here. Yeah, right here. Here's the supernatural. And he did it. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you know, you know, have it? Yeah, you got a light. No, 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 no. Have what? A light? Spirit sense, of course! <sighs> Are you what they call spiritually gifted? Nope. Never felt anything at all. Even if I did... <laughs> Even if I did, I'd be a lightweight at best. Ooh. One beer and I'm down for the count. Ooh. Huh? Is that how people in the field quantify someone's spirit sense? Like how much liquor they can handle? Nope, that's just me. Thought it'd help get the point Oh my across. god, I'm Satsumi. Oh. Huh? Sorry. It seems like I keep disappointing you. You're disappointing all your fault, boy. At the risk of disappointing you yet again, I'll tell you one more thing. Spirit sense is usually something you're born with. It's tough to develop it later on. What? So there's no hope for me? No, say it isn't so! Uh, of course you were interested. Well, you never know. You may have some hidden potential. I'm the 8th protagonist! I know there's a high schooler who got so much spirit sense that she works on the front lines. What? I say work, but she wasn't paid because it was supposedly part of her training. Mm. We'll meet her later! I say work, but she wasn't <laughs> paid because it was supposedly part of her training! It's waiting. Yoi! That's the stuff that's a violation article 59 of the labor standards act! Nice. Nice. <laughs> wow, you really know the law. No comment. Wow, the 70s also had nice. Even the occult field has workers' rights issues. Yeah, I, don't huh. think, I don't think any. I don't think any near any year was more nice than 1969. No. <laughs> 69, 69. Get him. Hmm. Someone's watching us. Doesn't seem they're gonna run. Let's just keep an eye on him for now. Okay, okay. Alright, don't turn your face, Jun. Just keep looking at me. Yo, what do we do now? We got the right resurrection. The curse that goes into the seven mysteries are on you. The curse is being spread out but around the city. It's uh, a bit of an emergency. Ooh, is that bad? I'll put it this way. It's like handing out guns all over town. Ooh, jeez, that's real bad. America! Fuck yeah! It is. So we need to find the source and put a stop to it before something terrible happens. Usually that'd be a job. Uh, that'd be a job for paranormal activity. Uh, paranormal affairs. Uh, I keep saying paranormal activity. Pan yeah, paranormal activity. So I was talking activity. about them lately. But I talked to them on our way here. Those movies suck, by the way. <laughs> the main team is tied up until tomorrow night. <laughs> so they told me to deal with it myself. Said it'd be fine since I have some experience. Did they do the face? He's, his, is, his is really subtle. Yeah, it's yeah, you can't do. Huh? What? Subtlety? Then that overtime you mentioned means... Yep. You're gonna help me, partner. <gasps> Alright, let's do this! Well, at least he's eager. You seem a bit too eager to dive into all this. You really have no reservations working a case you know nothing about. I wanna die! You said this was an emergency! I didn't think we had a choice! I'm just trying to be logical about this, boss. You really are something. It might actually be nice having you around. You're gonna miss me while I'm gone. Hey, shadowy figure! Shit, shit, don't. Oh, shit. Alright, still got more to talk to him about, I guess. Talk to Irio. So, what exactly do we do? Nothing! If these curses are connected to the seven mysteries, then the people who have the others should be all here in town. Why? That's me, the six more out there! But we have to stop them before they kill anyone with their curses. If we can, we should find and collect all the curse stones. But boss, from what you said earlier, killing a curse bearer gets you closer to completing the Rise of Resurrection. So would you like me in danger to find out you're a curse bearer? Kiss me with those supple lips. Pretty much. <laughs> He's we, even got the eye roll! <laughs> we could look at help uh, Should you even be out here right now? Hiding would only be a waste of time. The mystery of the one-sided reed is associated with Ryogoku Bridge. I was hoping we'd be quick enough to run into the one-sided one reed's curse bearer. 
<clears throat> no such luck, it <clears throat> seems. <clears throat> I, I can't find him anywhere. Oh, no. I wear these sunglasses. I can't see anybody. <laughs> well, if nothing else, maybe my maybe word will spread that the cops are on the lookout and people will behave. That's putting a lot of trust in whoever these other people are. But it's possible that other curse bearers with the same idea will come here. Talk to anyone you see who seems suspicious. Okay. Hey, you! Not right now! Oh. Hmm. That means someone who may have the power of a curse... Might be right behind me! Understood. In that case, turn and fire. Yeah! Yeah! He, he knew it. Why don't I ask that guy who's been watching us this whole time? See? Jun's not stupid. He's a good... He's, he's a good egg. Good ol' egg. Ah, you noticed him too. Well, good luck. Hey, you there! Sorry to bother you, but I've got some questions. I'm with the police. Yep, I knew it. Thanks for your cooperation. We'll be asking you a few things, Mr... Let me just go ahead and see that our uh, ears are sufficiently plugged. <laughs> and he has no power over us. <laughs> Are we allowed to see what happens if he does end up killing us? He'll just kill us, and he'll go, Ooh, sorry, that's bad, and oh, try okay, again, will okay. you? <laughs> uh, Yutaro Namigaki. That's your name, right? Uh, he, he, I forgot who voiced him. Uh, yes. I don't mind answering your questions. I'll just take over. You're a detective. Did something happen? Oh, right. Lots of things have been happening around here. Like people dying. Oh, dying? <laughs> Really? Tell me more. So, what is it you were doing here? Uh, the... Uh, it must be the incident at the former Yasuda Gardens. The dead policeman? It must be? I can't imagine a detective would come all the way out here otherwise. Huh. Say, Mr. Detective. Have you ever heard of the Evergreen Beach? <laughs> the Seven Mysteries of Hanjo, right? You mean the Chaos Emeralds, Why said Obama. <laughs> <laughs> I was just looking for it. Actually, I was wondering if either of you knew anything about it. I don't know. Nope, sorry. Really? How strange. Detectives, you have the cursed stone of the Evergreen Beach, don't you? You! How did you Dad, know? Shut up. No, oh, that was a... Ario, you idiot. Ario, you idiot. <laughs> you stupid whooping head. Why so yoy, boy? <laughs> well, that was much easier than expected. Oh, crap. Sorry. Oh, no. We're in trouble. <laughs> it was a capital T-W. <laughs> it was simple inference. Inference? Yeah, inference. I figured you would have taken the curse if... Uh, you would have taken the curse if you were just in the gardens. If you know that, then... You must be a curse bearer yourself. I have no intentions of hiding anything. I plan to tell you from the start. Look. Hmm? Ah. This is my curse stone. I believe it's called the Foot Washing Mansion. For free? Why is it called a mansion? That's right, but are you sure about this? I'm not so rash that I kill someone as soon as I found out they were a curse bearer. Not without talking to them first. You're the same, aren't you, detectives? You wouldn't use a curse on a normal person. Let's speak as equals, shall we? Yeah, okay, okay we'll do that. Boss? Sure. We'd rather resolve this amicably, too. What is our curse? Our curse is that we can, uh... Curse people who are being deceitful with us. He has, they're lying. He is looking to kill us with his curse right that now. That was a bold-faced lie. But before we talk, there's something I should tell you. Hmm? This is my curse stone. The Evergreen Beach, just like you thought. What? B boss, why would you tell him? That's for how the curse works. Boss, are you having another senior okay. moment? If you shut tell him up, that- Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. <clears throat> it hangs to death anyone who would try to mislead me. <laughs> Why would I lie? So if you try to lie to me, the curse stone will let me know. That's actually perfect for the detective. I don't have to use it to tell. Understand? Whoa, really? 
That's super useful. Mm-hmm. I see. Understood. That's a pretty useful power for a detective. Yeah, I know, right? Thank uh, you. Miss no, Aldama no. strikes again. Let's talk. Damn. It seems I've lost the upper hand. Oh, well, you're about to lose more than that, boyo. No point for petty tricks, then. I'll be honest with you. You quit fucking wow, lying to that me! that was a lie. So far, so good. <laughs> This is just to get more information, I assume. There's someone I want to bring back, so I'd like your assistance in collecting soul dregs. That's a lie, too. I watched a MSC3K episode, and uh, Joel and the bots just went, Liar! 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 <laughs> Can't help you. Please, all you'd have to do is tell me who the other curse bearers are. That's <coughs> another lie. <coughs> Liar. Sorry, but as a police officer, I can't just look the other way and let you go. Please, if you help me, I'll let you two go as well. Say you fucking liar, you! Is that a threat? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> it's your final warning. Actually, no, it's not. It's the penultimate. It's, it's warning. actually your your it's third to last second, warning. You know, second to last. And warning. then you get a write up. <laughs> and then death. <laughs> 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 My curse! The Footwashing Mansion! Did you really think you could escape it just by being careful? It didn't matter to me which of you was the curse bearer. It's so funny. I'll be taking both of your soul To know drink. that it's not gonna have an effect. Yep. <laughs> both of your soul dregs anyway. Wait! Namagaki! The Footwashing Mansion is a powerful curse and so simple to activate! They got me monologuing! It is ready whenever I need it. There is no escape from the voice of my feet. <laughs> Aside from socks and turning the volume all the way down to zero. And this this might be your last chance to do that if you haven't yet. Just imagine if you did both. I'd be so screwed. Ariel, get out of here. Hurry, I'll find you later. What? Okay. Net too late. Hear the voice of my curse echo. All right, I'm all ears. The voice of his curse echo. It's... I am going deaf in my senility. Huh? Oh, wait. My hearing aid's just you. Ah, there we go. Ah! What? Why isn't my curse echo working? Oh, for 2, loser! Impossible. This has never happened. Wow, I kind of feel bad for this guy. <laughs> well, What's happening? I don't hear anything. Ariel, now, grab him! You got him, boss! <laughs> <laughs> Namagaki, get down! Oh, yeah! Damn it! Boss, here! His curse stone! Uh, oh, oh, oh. Damn uh, it! I mean, good work. Give it to me. I got it, boss! <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was close. <laughs> Damn it! Hey, four eyes. <laughs> what? What? Ah! what do you think, boss? Should we lock him up? I say we can't. We cur uh, t let him go. <laughs> <laughs> you said curse, <laughs> curb stomp, and then it was just like ah, just let him go. I haven't even touched you. You can't consider this assault of a police officer. Let him go. All we need is a stone. No, oh, my stones got taken from me again. First time was my girlfriend, and now this. How could this happen? My right of resurrection. Give it up. The right was too good to be true from the start. I don't know what happened to you, but you'd be better off mourning whoever you lost the right way. Now get out of here. Damn it. You suck! So now you got me curious. What happens... I mean, obviously you kill him as soon as he starts lying to you. So you just miss out on the information? I don't know if, like, like that happens or if uh, Ariel's just like, Whoa, you fucking killed him! That's crazy! And, and then, then just cuts to black. And, and, and then the storyteller's like, Oh, you yeah, don't have a bad ending. Maybe you shouldn't kill him. And you oh, can okay, learn okay. more things yeah, about Yeah, get, get more things. Sure, that was a good close one, boy. We probably be dead if we had a very I'm not looking at you when you're like that. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure what, but something stopped his curse from... Now get that stupid face off your face. Boss, are you okay? Does having another curse stone hurt? Yeah, the curse is from this one is flowing into me too. Oh, Jesus. Oh, no. 
I saw what activates the curse of the foot-washing mansion, and the resentful memories bound to it. Ah, I see. I always thought this one was one of the stranger of the seven mysteries. Now I know why. This sure is something. What did you see? Let's save that for later. All you need to know for now is that it's a particularly powerful curse. We're lucky we took it from him quickly. Phew! Ding! Got it! Now he's got two ghosts. We got two of the Dragon Ball Curse Stones! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Well, that makes one stone. Where do we go now? We'll visit all the places associated with the mysteries while it's still dark out. You mean, we have to do that all over again? I hope they aren't all as aggressive as him. But... People will do crazy things to bring back someone they love. It seems that the hut that the hatred the curse stones are imbued with makes people more willing to kill. Really? What about you, boss? I'm fine. I may not have any spirit sense, but I'm tough when it comes to this stuff. That's why they loved me in Paranormal Affairs. I'm the grizzled veteran archetype. I am uncursable. So you are spiritually gifted after all. All right. Hey, don't make a big deal about it. Let's head to the next place. Wow, get dunked on, listening nerd. All right. That was one of the curse bearers. Now it's time for another one. This is the hunt for the curse bearers, part two. Tsutsumi and Aerio decide to collect the curse stones as soon as possible before they become the cause of an unprecedented tragedy. The two obtain the foot-washing mansion from Yutaro Namagaki and head for their next destination! Onward! Who are they gonna meet here? Oh, who are they gonna meet here? There's so many that we could meet. Mitoricho Park. When we were doing the prologue, we met them here as they were, you know, discussing things. But the timeline doesn't match up. Yeah. So they're not all happening concurrently. Maybe even there might be conflicting timelines. Yeah, parallel worlds. Excuse me, sorry to bother you. We have some questions for you. You. Who the hell are you? What? Are you with the police? I haven't done anything. Don't worry, this isn't an interrogation or anything. We just want to talk. You're Hideki Araishi, right? The historian? We, uh, we know who you are, so this won't take long. But since we saw you here, we'd just like to ask you a couple questions. Mm -hmm. Local history researcher, Hideki Araishi! That doubt look on his face the entire time. Well, let's get it over with. I'm a busy man. Okay. Let's get a little, let's get a look at you first. For appearances, it's hard to imagine this small, bookish, well-spoken man being very dangerous. In this day and age, you never know. Let's not judge him. Let's see. What were you doing? Now, Mr. Araishi, what were you doing here at this time of night? D -d doing research, of course. Day or night, information never sleeps. That's an admirable philosophy. You know, your research has been quite the talk around town. What was it they were saying? They discovered Jesus. something about uh, that. Uh, oh, the uh, uh, the the uh, the record of fates. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All yeah. oh, right, you found some kind of ritual in the record of fates. What? Don't tell me you want to know how to carry out the rite of resurrection, too! To be perfectly honest, I'm tired of people asking me about it all the time. That is so... That is the perfect face. Okay, it's anyway. None of you even care about the local history. You just come crawling out of the woodwork when something interesting comes up. Looks like I hit a nerve. If you think you can force me to tell you because you're policemen, you're sorely mistaken. Sorely mistaken? Ah, oh, this guy. Are you doing all this research so you can use the rite of resurrection yourself? You're a policeman. Do you really think people can be brought back to life? I've seen everyone I meet pitiful. <laughs> I've seen some weird shit. <laughs> huh, so you don't believe in the right? Whether it's real or not has nothing to do with my research. Such things are better left to the occult freaks. Or oh, so I thought. Hmm. Things changed. It's become necessary for me to pursue the right. So now, now I pray that it is real. Ooh. What changed? I'm sure you can imagine. The funds for my research. I receive a large amount of funding for seeking the right of resurrection. And if I find it, I'll receive a sum so great that I'll never have to worry about money again. And since this is the 70s, that uh -huh. means he's going to get $50,000. And that means someone is sponsoring your research, is that right? Uh, so what if they are? You have no idea how hard we work to secure funding for our research. I have no, in I have no interest in teaching those children. Listen to me. I'll tell you one thing. 
Those experts you see writing provocative books or spouting nonsense on TV to try to get popular? All of them are just trying to get the money they need to do their research. With how popular the occult is, saying something even remotely spooky can lead to big money. What? But I bought your book! The pursuit of the unknown beings? Uh, begins. unknown begins. First and foremost, with belief. I was so inspired by that bit. I do appreciate your patronage. Unfortunately, however, the occult is not my true interest. The fate of the unknown is to be destroyed by thorough research and deep consideration. No way. I can't believe it. Oh, dear. Let me see that face of yours. Oh, God, no way. I can't believe it. Oh, God, no way. You're... You're surprisingly innocent. <laughs> Then, what kind of research do you want to be doing? Hmm. Sure, it, would it wouldn't interest you, but to put it simply, the focus of my research is how historical accounts transform into folklore over the years as they are passed down from generation to generation. What does that mean? Due to human bias, the account of any event is inevitably changed by the person communicating it. This is not necessarily done with ill intentions. It happens when someone tries to fill in the gaps in a story that lacks detail or when something's left out or abridged because of the story's length. Or when a story twists and shifts as it's spread through an oral tradition. Like this story. Even when two stories are told about the same event, differences in culture or environmental, or, or environment, affect how it's told, changing its content. Silly little things can turn into terribly mysterious legends. My research is a study of how history, culture, and legend all influence each other. Oh, I see. Take the Seven Mysteries of Hanjo, for example. Why are some of the mysteries seemingly about nothing particularly interesting? You'd think stories wouldn't last a decade, let alone hundreds of years. So why? Perhaps putting it that, perhaps putting it that way piques your interest. I admit, I am curious. So that's what. <clears throat> so that's what you've been researching all this time. Makes sense. As I said, it doesn't matter to me whether the right exists or not. If people in the Edo period believe that was what that's that what was written in the Record of Fates was real, that's all I'm interested in. Okay, scholar gonna be a scholar. This Record of Fates, where did you get your hands on it? The storehouse of an old private residence in the city, just as the public was told. I'm unable to be more precise due to an agreement with my informant. Hmm, okay, so he has uh -huh. some information that he's not sharing. But I have to be realistic. The research I'd like to do is unfortunately not very lucrative. That's why I need to take some risks. Okay. Like what? Yeah, like what? Was the research you were doing just now also related to the Rite of Resurrection? Uh, well, yes, that's right. What exactly were you looking for? Research. I, I have no reason to tell you that. You wouldn't understand anyway. Research, 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 research. Come on! I'll ask again, what were you, you doing? You can tell me. Well, in that case, I think I might have a guess as to what it is you were looking for. Cursed... Cursed stones? Da -da 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 -bum. Yeah. What? Damn it! If you knew about that, then... Calm ah. down. No need to get so defensive. Got him! Day uh, uh, <laughs> it's right here. We both want information, right? Why don't we have a nice, friendly chat? Nice, friendly chat. Uh, a, a curse stone! You are a curse bearer! A leaf. It is the evergreen beach, then. Yep. Will you show me yours? I, I showed you mine. Now you show me yours. I, uh, but, mm, yeah, yeah, this is mine. This is the ever-burning lantern. We haven't seen this one yet. Hmm. Interesting. Huh. Nothing to hide. Uh, oh, yeah. Let's... I'll tell you this for free. Keep it interesting. The Evergreen Beach comes from a man who was hanged for spreading false rumors. Oh! But the accusations against him were unfounded, and he died cursing those who deceived him. Ah, so that is the resentful memory held within the Evergreen Beach. The memories of the Seven Mysteries are truly fascinating. If only I could collect them all! Do whatever you want, but you should know something. This stone of mine lets me curse anyone who tries to mislead me. But what? But... Wait for it. So don't try and lie to me. I'll know. You, you would curse a citizen, and you call yourself an officer of the law. Hey, you lost your citizenship that when all you picked up the curse stone. That all depends on you. I don't want to use it if I don't have to. But, 
What is it you want? The cursed stones are dangerous. I'd like to confiscate yours. <laughs> Excuse me? B but my right! First, let me ask you one thing. You. You haven't used that curse, have you? <gasps> oh! oh no! Of course uh, I haven't, I swear! Uh, uh, oh no! <laughs> Who the hell did you kill? I see. Good. <laughs> now, why don't you hand over that stone? <laughs> it is now dangerous Unless in your hands. Unless you'd rather try using it on me instead. Ooh. Mm. Damn you. I won't give it to you! Mm -hmm. If I were to say that, what would happen? Would it be a crime? The police are aware of how dangerous the stones are. They could arrest you under Article 1, Section 2 of the Minor Offenses Act. It's a good thing lying doesn't work on him. <laughs> or you hand it over and all you lose is your secret ability. Think of what would happen to all your research if you were arrested. Ooh. I... Mm. Fine. You can have the stone. Here. Hey, look at that! Pacifism works! See? With great power comes great responsibility. We are upstanding detectives here! I would laugh my ass off if his curse was giving away the curse stone. No! <laughs> Be so great. Good choice. I look forward to seeing how your research pans out. <laughs> Alright. Would you tell us everything you know about what's been going on? <laughs> if you help us out, we'll give you all the information we've gotten after we solve the case. What do you say? Info for info. In that case, you tell me about all the resentful memories of the seven mysteries. I believe they are the key to the secrets hidden in the record of fates. Yeah, sure, why not? I'll learn about them as I collect the curse stones. Na 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 But thanks to you, we learned a lot from him. I could have gone so far south that we didn't do it right. I wonder. The mysteries and right are all public information. Now you got me interested on how south it could have gone. He kept everything he knows about the other curse bearers and the source of the curse here hidden. I was hoping he'd at least give us a clue about how to beat these curses. Oh, I see. Then we should be more aggressive next time. Really make them spit it out. And by we, I mean you. I'm guessing he wants to save this curse. He wouldn't have told us anything no matter what we asked. But now we know where he hangs out. We can always send someone for him if need be. What? Got it! I was surprised to hear they are actually not you. What? Hmm. Yeah, that's two extra curse bearers we have to find. Yeah. We've confiscated two, so there are six yes. more. They could be anywhere in this town. We have to find them fast, or they may start using the curses. No. I think we're already too late. Huh? He lied to me. I didn't tell you this, but there were some soul drags in Namagaki's curse stone. D really? Then he already killed someone with it? It's not much, but so it probably- Well, it's not much, so it probably wasn't a curse bearer. Shit! Shit. <laughs> Poopy doopy. <laughs> well, we know who did it. We can make arrangements to take him into custody. We'll have paranormal affairs pick him up tomorrow. For now, we continue our search. Right. On to the next place. We just have to cross them off the list one by one. Oh, but... Boss? Huh? Good to know we can use the Minor Offenses Act to arrest people with curse stones. But why didn't we do that with Namigaki? If we could do that, there'd be no need for paranormal affairs. What grounds would a normal detective have to put him under arrest? Oh, right. Yeah, I suppose that's true. I it's, was a, it's, it's a trump card. It's not, you know, oh, yeah, give us your curse stone. Yeah, I was actually wondering, there is no actual evidence to arrest somebody for a paranormal death. That's right. I mean, we can, we can, uh, you use paranormal affairs to imply murder and all that. Because things work a little differently, because this curse is act actually exist and shit. Mm. So we're done with Susumi's story for a little while. And, uh, we still can't do, uh, uh, Harue's story. So now, Yako. close things out, we're gonna do a couple of Yako Sakazaki's stories, starting with the Spirit Board. Ouija. We Yaku drink. Sakazaki searches for the right of resurrection, hoping to revive her friend who, sh who jumped to her death. To get the information she needs, she meets with her classmate Mio Ku uh, Kurosuzu in their classroom at midnight to attempt using a spirit board. It's the Ouija chapter!
Yay for me, Luigi! It's midnight again! It's midnight at the high school. Alright, well, this my favorite character in the game here. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Oh, hello. There she is. That should be everything. Okay, let's start. Ready for this, Yako? I'm ready! Okay, I'm ready. High school student, Yako Sakazaki! Da -da -da, person of interest, bam! And here's all of our information. <laughs> Alright, let's start. Ooh. This is the spirit board. This is how we'll be communicating. First, we'll put we'll both put a finger on the 10 yen coin that's on the board. Okay. There we go. D uh, the oh, right. Uh, oh. D yeah, on the coin. Oh, that's so cool. Like this? Just like that. Relax your finger as much as you can. Now for the chant. Repeat what I say, okay? Okay. Oh, Spectre of the Spirit Board, please visit us. Your turn. Oh, Spectre of the Spirit Board. Uh, oh, sp Please visit us. What happened there? We had to say it twice. I should know this. I played Corpse Party. Come uh, on, man. We're, at, we're, we're in uh, Corpse Party right now. Spectre of the Spirit Board. Spectre of the Spirit Board. Please visit us. Good. Please tell us if you are there. Oh! Yes! Whoa! It really moved! Looks like we succeeded in the summoning. You can ask questions now. Right, questions. Start with the question you know the answer to and see the response. Then, when you know your questions are being answered truthfully, you ask what you really want to know. Okay, I'll start with something simple. Uh, hmm, what is this girl's name? Fine. What is the name of the girl across from me? M. I. O. Hey! Mio. Yeah, see? It even used that weird character you used to spell your name. What, the M? <clears throat> How flattering. I wonder if that was a tr uh, translation. Psychic girl! Mio Kurosuzu! Yeah, see that, that O there? That's a bit of an old uh, Kana character there. Okay. So, yeah, it, it kind of lost a bit of its luster in uh, translation, but that's okay. Uh, yeah, Mio. It's, yeah, Mio. That's not even O, that's that's a wo. Oh, but the, but the W is normally kind of silent, you know? It's Mio. Your Mi oh, okay. I bet. Even the teachers get it wrong all the time. I guess these paranormal beings just tend to take a liking to you. Huh. I don't know how I should feel about that. Alright, uh, what is my name? I think it should know the answer to this. Oh, Spectre of the Spirit Board! What is my name? B. I. T. T hey, wait a minute! Hey! Huh? What's the matter? A strange. No. Huh? It told me no! Ah, I bet it means it doesn't know. It may be the, sep the Spectre of the Spirit Board. <laughs> it looks like Scepter. The, the Scepter of the Spirit Box. But it doesn't know everything. Really? But it knew your name, Mio. Is this spirit really the real deal? Uh, oh. It's fine. Mm-hmm. I feel like it's giving me attitude. <laughs> Uh, what is this place? Oh, Spectre of the Spirit Board, where are we? High school. S. High school K classroom o on a o desk at the L. Okay. High school, that's right! The answers don't seem to be very precise. So they need to be broad questions. Is it really you? 
Oh, Spectre of the Spirit Board, are you truly the Spectre of the Spirit Board? Uh oh. Huh? It said no. Is it lying? Not quite. The Spectre of the Spirit Board is just a temporary name we call them when using the board. We're actually calling a spirit with a strong tie to this place, or one of the people participating. In other words, a spirit that just happened to be nearby just felt like answering. They don't really think of themselves as the Spectre of the Spirit Board. Oh, really? Huh, feels like some of the mystique has disappeared. Yeah, it's kind of mundane. Do you mind if I still call you the Spectre of the Spirit Board? Cool. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Thanks. Always good to remember to say please and thank you. And uh, and also goodbye. Always say goodbye. Yes, always, always say, good say goodbye. Always say goodbye. Like, I, I'm a man of science, but always say goodbye. <laughs> what is my name? I'll ask it again. What is my name? No. <laughs> F-U-C-A! <laughs> hey! What is my name? C. Yeah, all right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what? He was just gonna say see you next Tuesday. All right, it's time to try asking serious questions. Yeah. Who does Mio have a crush on? <laughs> we're, we're doing. Uh, Damn it, Michio's cause, cause of death. We're, we're 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 here to be serious. I know. Okay, here I go. I'll be serious now. This is about to get serious. Cool. Yes, please. Oh, Spectre of the Spirit Board, did Michio, did Michio Shiraishi in our class, who died by committing suicide by jumping one week ago, really commit suicide? No. <laughs> so it really wasn't. I'm not surprised. I never believed it from the start. Now's the important part. Yeah. That changes everything. Oh, Spectre of the Spirit Board. Did Michio Shiraishi die in an accident? Yeah. It said yes. So it was an accident, not a suicide. Michio. Then, did she slip and fall from, from that apartment building? No. Huh? She didn't? What do you mean? Michio didn't die falling from the apartment building. Okay. No way! If that were true... Why was she lying on the ground like that in the back alley of the apartment building? Moved after death. Moved Go. after death. De gonna be moved, moved after de death. death. Gonna be moved after death. Hey, you're gonna be moved after death. We gotta find some perpetrating guy. Hit and run. It was an accident, but not a fall. Host Spectre of the Spirit Board. What happened to Michio on that day? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Ah, Spirit doesn't know. Seems like it doesn't know the details. Where is the right of resurrection? Then how about... Oh, Spectre of the Spirit Board. We want to use that right of resurrection to bring Michio back to life. Do you know where the right of resurrection is? I wonder. Oh no! Oh, jeez. Oh, crap, crap. Cursed, cursed, cursed. Huh? Ah! Okay. What? What is this? Yeah, where's the Rite of Resurrection? Let's, right here. Let's get the Black Stop. Star. I'm scared, Mio. Calm down. You can't let go before it's over. Oh, you just... No! Ah! There you are. Such deep sorrow. Resentful memory is flowing into my mind. Whose possession, whose security shall fall into depths of hell? Kill them! Kill, Kill them! them! Those who hear this sound! <laughs> Kill them all! You can use to kill those who hear the sound produced by the curse's echo for more than 30 seconds! 
The effect will be negated if you are seen in that time. Ooh. 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 Whoever hears the sound. We should probably turn the volume back up. <laughs> Thick black tar. There Thick it is. black tar. Haven roads of curses all in people's bodies. Thick black tar. Now. So. Korose. Kikoiruka. Kosbara. Oh, it's got some kanji on it. Did you just say my kanji's not that good? <laughs> okay, oh, this is hard. Yeah, this, this kanji's hard. Yeah, this kanji's yeah. hard. Kill them. Every read say. That was a good start! Alright. Nice. One more chapter for, yeah, the, what, for today. What we got? What we got? Two things to remember. Okay. Number one. 30 seconds. Always wear pants. Yeah, oh, well. Number two. Always wear shoes. Always wear pants. Double pants! Of course, because you gotta wear two pants. That's right. Because, you know, r restaurants and shops say no shoes, no shirt, no service. They never say pants, but they always it's always pants, though. That's true, that's true. Anyway. Information they gained from the spear board suggests that Michio's death was not a suicide. When they continue to press the spear board for the location of the Rite of Resurrection, a curse echo suddenly <laughs> appears. Just, uh, get get back on. down there, get back down. Uh, uh, Stop! Rite of Resurrection. Let's take a listen as to what happened around Michio's death and why Yako cares so much. I belong in a Vanillaware game. Time traveling cat just appeared to me. Hey, did you hear? Someone from our school committed suicide. Oh, bitch, what? really? Really? Oh. oh my god. I heard that Michio from Class C, right? No way, Michio. She'd been acting pretty strangely lately, but I still can't believe that. I love how you have Americanized <laughs> these Japanese schoolgirls. Did you hear about Michio in Class C? Oh, rock on, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she seemed like a stereotypical <laughs> honor student in her first year, but she stopped showing up to <laughs> class and her grades started dropping after her third semester. I was totally gonna hit that. Yeah, she's not gonna, gonna get to a good college that way, man. <laughs> Yeah, kill yourself tends to ruin your grades. Secondary education is the way to get bodacious babes, brah! <laughs> GD! <laughs> I hate it. Oh, wow, we're actually looking around. Uh, hey, there's some more people. I think uh, Yaku's feeling kind of sad about this. You're just hearing people just kind of, oh, did you hear? Oh, God, Ernest stepped out a total jerk face. Jesus. You know, I bet there's, there's so much going wrong with her. We should have said something, but we never did. And just, you know, with this ill. Give me turmoil. And weird and, Give me oh. pain. Ugh. I'm ready to hurt. Yeah, jeez. Oh. This is just bad. Oh, Kinds no. Of bad. Oh no, I'm connecting dots. Oh. Oh no. So, well, that's the thing. This is still pretty early. You, like, I, I know, but. You're connecting dots that might not even, like, I be know, dots. I know, but it's it's giving me thoughts. It's, it's helping me piece together a puzzle with the wrong pieces. Hear yeah, about suicides on the news, but it's for, but for it to happen here. It's, is there a girl transferred into class C recently? <laughs> oh, I heard about her. She's gloomy. Doesn't stand out much. But you know, at the school she was at before, she transferred also had a suicide. What? For real? It seems like kind of fishy. It just gets more and more deranged. <laughs> oh my god. You. Um, there may be some of you who already know, but uh, a member of our class, Michio Shiraishi, passed away last night. Okay, okay, calm down. I know this comes as a surprise, but please be quiet. The cause of death is still under investigation, and there's nothing we know for certain at the moment. Detailed investigation reports will come from the police, so please don't go spreading any rumors. Got it? You did it. As we just heard like five minutes of straight rumors. That's my rumor. We're you did it. We're sending everyone home for today. No dilly dallying on your way. Hey, stop celebrating. Show some respect. Someone's dead. There will be a memorial service scheduled next week at the school assembly. If anyone wishes to pay their respects individually, 
Yeah, good to end I'm really glad yeah, this is taking place in the 70s. Otherwise, some cock bites would be going up to the body getting selfies. <laughs> hey! Isn't this crazy, dude? Um, Diaco? What? I'm sorry to bug you. It's just, you seem a little different from your usual self. Show me emotionless eyes. I hope I'm not being a nosy. Thanks, Mio. First name basis. Thanks, Mio. Was I acting that strangely? Yeah, enough to make me worry. If you want to talk, I'm happy to listen. Yeah, this is perfect timing. There's actually something I want to ask you. Yeah? About the specter of the... <laughs> about the Rite of Resurrection, maybe. <laughs> actually. Um, you know that spirit board thing that everyone's been doing? Were you, uh, where you summon a spirit and ask it whatever you want? Ah, yeah, I know it. I want to try it out. There's something I want to know. Why are you telling me this? I mean... You seem like the type to know about this stuff. Oh, I do? I mean, the pentagram in your hair was a dead giveaway. Yeah! You look like you're really into that occult stuff. You know, you've got that kind of gloomy look. Huh, I don't know how I should feel about that. But you do know how to do it, right? Well, yes. I think I probably know a little more than most. She's okay. being modest. Please help me. You're my only hope. Hmm. So about the Rite of Resurrection. Hey, Mio. You know about the Rite of Resurrection, right? Um, yeah, it's that thing Mr. Araishi apparently discovered and wrote an article about. I doubt there's many people who don't know, he's always talking about it. Do you believe what you will? Huh? I can't believe it's happening again. I'm so happy. <laughs> well, um, sounds a little too good to be true to me. But on the off chance that it really works... We could bring my soul back to life with it! I want to find it if there's even the slightest chance of bringing Michio back. But how will you look for it? Why is the thing? Wait. Shiraishi wrote a paper? Araishi. Araishi? Oh. Shiraishi is a scholar. Woman. Yeah. Michio, she. I wonder why she had to die. <sighs> She didn't leave a note or anything, but they announced that it was a suicide. Too early. They can't be right! So I never killed herself! We killed so happy, so I looked at the bright side of the I think she has two different, two different uwus. She, she's got the, the area uwu, and she's got the, the Tsutsumi kind of, you know, hmm, mm. whatever. She's got both. Yeah, she's got both. She love going to school! It means that you gotta change the voice, uh, accordingly. Oh, you got it. I know she was going through some hard times! But for her to kill herself! Hmm. Or, or that could just be her regular face, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks a little... It looks just downtrodden. I never mm. got a chance to speak with her. But but that duck face was certainly the oo face. Ooh. <laughs> she was often abs absent from school. And when she did come in, she looked depressed. Uh, did Monica reprogram her? You're right. <sighs> and that's why everyone was so willing to accept that she committed suicide. They acted like they cared, but all they did was gossip about it. Yep, that's right. They put together little pieces of information and spread l rumors like it's the truth. Isn't that terrible? Yes, it is. I've heard some that are really awful. Mm, in the end, the only reason they're able to say stuff like that is because they aren't personally involved. It's true that she didn't get along with her new stepdad and that her grades went down. But to say things like... How sad. No wonder she killed herself. How dare they? She always told me she was okay whenever I talked to her because I was worried. She would have told me if there was something bothering her so badly she'd kill herself over it. Uh-huh. She kind of looked unamused. <laughs> I kind of spaced out, sorry. I I'm still here. I won't let Michio's death be written off like this. Like, maybe she got caught up in something bad. Something bad? Yeah, I don't ride a resurrection. <laughs> <laughs> People have been talking about that body found in former Yasuda Gardens, right? Some are saying that this town is cursed or something. Ah! <laughs> Eyes wide open. Yes, there has been a strange feeling around things recently. 
like we're on a television and there's some man in a mask and then taunting us. Cut to camera looking at the sideways and they just don't, don't, put, put, put it back over there. They just look towards the, the screen. All right, so uh, Spectre of the Spirit Board. Um, the thing you want to ask, is it? Yeah, I want to know about the truth behind Michio's death and where the Rite of Resurrection is hidden. I see. Hmm. I don't know if getting the answer to those questions will be as easy as you hope. Please! The teachers and police aren't any help, and there's only so much I can do alone. If there's even the slightest chance, then... Well... Okay. Well, ugh. Ugh. If that will if that'll make you feel better, then I'll help. Yes! Thank you, Mio! Okay, then tomorrow after dark... But I thought this was a week ago. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, several days later, so ab about a week later from that one week ago. Uh, and then da 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 and that's how we get to where we are now. And now we got cursed, and now here we are again. Da -da 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 -da. We're cursed! Kamagata High School, Class 2C! Kamagata High School, Class 2C! God, a lot of these just have a good beat to them. <laughs> yeah, uh huh. Yeah, uh huh. <laughs> You look like you just got cursed. <laughs> uh, are you awake, Yako? <laughs> wow, you look like shit. You must have gotten cursed. Thick uh, black tar, huh? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I would love it if every if every curse bearer said out loud, yeah, God, thick, it feels like a big... Yeah. Yeah. Thick black tar, right? Thick black tar. Yeah, yeah thick black tar. Uh, yeah, yeah what the happened? Same thing. I've been trying to put thick black tar, that's it. You can't remember? Uh, let's see. We used the spear board and... I suddenly heard something, like this weird voice. D and then I passed out. Yes, as far as I can tell, you aren't experiencing any negative effects. I think it was just a mild shock from how sudden it was. Hmm. Huh? Was everything okay with the spirit? Yep. It was almost bad, but I got it to leave. More importantly, what is that thing you have in your hand? Huh? In my hand? You know, I, I'm actually just visualizing Mio keeping Yako's finger on the board and then saying goodbye, 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 Wait, really? Yeah, it was on. It was my idea that you bought the no mask because it was. What was it for? A Halloween special. Oh yeah. Oh, there's so much anger and hatred held within it. Fuck you. Oh jeez. <laughs> it looks like a. It looks a little like tools that were used for ancient curses. What? That's so scary. Yako, you just said you heard a strange voice, right? Could you tell me what you heard? Anything you can recall. Just close your ears for a second. I think it might be connected to that object. Oh, God. Um, let's see. I felt like I was at the bottom of a dark place. Then this voice felt like it was echoing in my mind. Thick black tar? Thick black tar. Shit. <laughs> oh, we got a class five going on here. Uh-oh. After that, it just kept shouting, kill them. I see. Thank you. I hope Mio's a curse bearer. I hope she's a curse bearer, please. Yako? I think you may have exactly what you need in order to use the Rite of Resurrection. A curse with the power to take people's lives and turn them into soul dregs. What? You mean this is a real curse? I know I said I wanted to use the Rite of Resurrection to bring back Mi uh, Michio, but... But why? Why me? It makes no sense. You asked the wrong question. Um, Yako. Please calm down and listen. Yeah. I... yeah. I'm sorry about panicking. No, it's okay. Fear is something that we feel in the face of the unknown. Long ago, people would give names to phenomena they couldn't understand. Hey! 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 Ah, sorry, sorry. Huh? However, modern day developments in science and culture have pushed for the rejection of things that can't be measured. And so, paranormal has been treated like it doesn't exist. But they've been around since a long, long time ago. If you just understand, you can see that there is nothing to be afraid of. First, calming down is the most important. Accept reality for what it is. Calming down?! D it's okay. Huh. Alright. 
<laughs> okay, okay, breathe, breathe, breathe. Okay, breathe, breathe. I only really gave this stuff a shot because it was popular, but... You really do have a connection with this stuff, don't you? Well, I suppose to an extent... She's being modest again! I fucked the Necronomicon the other night, I didn't know what to do. Hey, Mio, what do I do? Where do I start? Am I cursed? Am I going to die? It's okay. I'll take care of the curse. Mm-hmm, being modest again. That's why I'm here in the first place. You knew? Why you? Trust me. I'll take care of things, it'll be alright. Thanks. I was the one who dragged you along to do the spirit board. It's fine. You're desperate to find a way to try and help your friend. But spirit boards are dangerous. You have to take them seriously. So I'm glad you invited me. Alright, let's review everything we've learned so far and think of how to move forward. Oh my god, I can just imagine her having a curse stone. That's the reason she brought another person for the spirit board to try and get it. Some more talky bits, here we go! What is this curse? Am I cursed? Well, I've only looked into it a little, but I wouldn't quite say you're cursed. It's more like you've gained the ability to use the power of a curse. So there shouldn't be any kind of negative paranormal effect on you. The power to use a curse? Do you mean this curse stone? Yes. The curse stone is used under certain conditions. A curse will be placed on someone, taking their life and turning it into soul dregs. Soul dregs are said to be required to enact the Rite of Resurrection. Normally, a curse is a spell that would only be usable by Onyoji of considerable talent. I believe that curse stones make it, e make it so that even normal people can use them. Hmm. Makes sense. Anyway, about that curse, about the seven mysteries. The mysterious voice said the curse stone is called the Fool's Procession, right? Yeah, that's from the seven mysteries of Hanjo, right? Our school is said to be connected with a story with the same name, one of the mysteries. Of course! Uh, right, I don't think it's a coincidence. Oh, wow, look at that. It might be, you know. This is just a guess, but it's possible that you were chosen because it could feel your desire for the right of resurrection. Hmm. It's kind of weird that the people getting curse stones are people who want to do the right. Imagine that. Yeah. Spirits coming in clutch. So someone like me with no knowledge could curse someone? Yes. It's still nothing to take lightly. You can end up having it redirected right at you. To tell you the truth, someone un something unusual did happen while we were using the spirit board. It happened right around midnight, I think. This whole area seems to be under the effect of the Feast of Shadows. The Feast of Shadows? Yes, it's a type of spell that temporarily boosts the potency of the supernatural. It also has the effect of making the powers of certain curse echoes manifest more easily. Judging by its strength, I'd say it probably covers about a three to four kilometer radius. Three to four kilometers? It's big enough to cover all of Sumida City! That's why there's so many curse stones popping up, because oh. it's like, hello! hey -oh! Yes, I think the Feast of Shadows was used to cause the resentment lingering in the area to manifest as curse stones. Someone did this. But who? I don't know enough to say. Bullshit. But it's likely that it was done by someone who wants to uncover the Rite of Resurrection. This isn't something to happen naturally. Oh, maybe the Scholar. I see. What's the unlucky number in Japan? Uh, Three? In, in China, I think it's four, because it means death. Oh, okay. Duh, mistress. So what's your curse, Yako? I can't say f... If this is a curse of the Seven Mysteries of Hanjo, then it's possible that there are others who receive curses associated with- Yeah, we know, we met them already! Yeah, that voice also said there are other curse bearers, or whatever you call them. Not only that, apparently you can get a lot of soul dregs by killing a curse bearer. Right. It's certainly not good. Even if we have no intention of killing others with the curse, there's a chance you may be targeted if other curse bearers find us. Uh! We'll have to avoid anyone who has another of the curses. That means we should avoid people at night as much as possible. Oh boy. How the hell are we gonna get out of school? Uh, but Mio... Yes? If this curse is real... That means I could bring back Michio if I used it, right? The Rite of Resurrection would be real, too. Yes, that's true. 
But you can't do that, Yako. But... It feels like it's not the time to worry about that kind of stuff. Uh-huh. If Michio died in an accident, then I'm sure she didn't want to die. What's the issue with putting a little curse on a complete stranger? That is tunnel vision. <laughs> I sort of feel like it wouldn't be a big deal. What's going on with you? You're not acting like yourself, Yako. You would never even consider taking the life of another person. Curse, curse, <sighs> curse, 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 curse. Is it the curse's influence on you? Maybe the curse echo's grudge is rubbing off on you. Will you show it to me for a second? Don't! Hmm? Is there... something inside it? No, stop! Yako? Don't, oh, I'm sorry. But, it's like... I just suddenly really didn't want you to touch it. Um... I understand. I'm sorry. But you need to give up on the right of resurrection. What? Because that's the real curse. Using resurrection as a lure, it tempts curse bearers into using their curses. Mm. You have to resist it. Don't let yourself be deceived by some curse. Mm. But Michio could... Mm -mm. Forget about her. I think for tonight we should get you home to rest. I'll walk you. The curse's influence should subside in the morning. Curse her. Curse her. Okay. Curse Mio. Curse Mio. Why do you want to kill her so bad? Why do you think she's bad? Well, I'm not saying... Well, I mean, a couple theories. I'm sorry, but I'm telling you that you need to give up on the right. It's beyond us. Even a single curse stone alone is too much to handle. I'm just... Meanwhile, Tsushima's over here like, just jungling him in his hands. Wow! It's so cool, Chief! Wow! Can somebody draw that, please? Bringing back the dead isn't something so simple. I know how much it hurts, but please focus on just worrying about surviving tonight. What happens if you bring them back and they're already six feet under? They just die again. Even now, we're in great danger. There's always that monkey's paw theory that uh, what if you could bring the dead back to life, they would come back as they were when when they died. So if somebody's in a car crash and they lose their eye or something. Yeah, if you think this is going to go as the way it should, no strings attached, you haven't read enough Japanese folklore. No shot. Tar or Ashima, anybody? For starters? A cursed stone's powers can only be used in this area under the influence of the Feast of Shadows. The effects also appear after the sun has set. By setting a limit on what they can and when they can be used, the curses are strengthened. Ooh, so the so, curses. Yeah. So the curses can't be used outside this area or during the day. Okay, so that keeps it right in here. Correct. Speaking of limits, to actually use a curse to kill someone, it seems there are conditions that need to be met. Correct. Conditions? Hmm. You mean like how my curse echo needs someone to listen to the sound it makes for thirty seconds? To be honest, I don't really understand it. Just listen to it for 30 seconds, that's it! Like, how do I even summon the curse echo or make the sound? Do I just, like, will it? No, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it! Do you mind- No! No! Stop, stop, stop! You shouldn't be using curses so willy-nilly! I kind of figured this would happen, Shit! Even if there are conditions that have to be met, the power to kill someone without leaving behind evidence is dangerous enough. In that sense, maybe you really have been cursed. Hmm. I'm sorry that you get wrapped that you got wrapped up in this situation, even though I'm here with you. So just about Yako's curse, I want to make sure I read that correctly. Yeah. They have to hear the sound for 30 seconds, or there are 30 seconds when the sound can be heard. Like, uh, 30 seconds they have they hear the sound, but if you're seen, then it's so it's hide and seek. Then it's negated. Basically, I gotta hide. And if you hear it, I can be like, you know, like, like I could hide in a locker, playing my sound, and then uh, 29, 30, 30, curse, huh? Where did that, bah! Okay, okay, that makes sense. At curse stone, I think whoever holds it becomes a curse bearer. No! It would probably be best for me to hold on to it, but... Uh, then I'd feel bad about forcing it on you. No, I sense a powerful force rejecting me. I don't think I'd be able to take it. Really? Why? <laughs> Suzuki's powerful as fuck. If we tried separating it from you, the curse may trigger. That's how bad I sense it wants to stay with you. Mm, no way. 
That curse stone might look like nothing more than an old Netsuke carving. But I can sense a powerful, resentful energy from it. I don't think it's a good idea for me to even touch it. It may seem like I know what I'm doing, but I don't know how to handle something this powerful. Uh, really? This little thing? If you, threw away, if you threw it away and someone with bad ideas picked it up, it could be bad. I think it would be safer to avoid the risk of getting anyone else involved and have you hold on to it for now. Well, now I'm kind of freaked out. It's freaky! Anyways, we need to make it to daybreak. I think the curse should weaken once it's morning. I'll help you find a way to deal with it then. Okay. So there are two things you should remember. Number one. First, do not fulfill the conditions while it's night. Okay. Second, should you happen to fulfill the conditions, don't use the curse. But what if I wanna? That's really the one thing to remember. Don't use the curse. R right. Okay. Let's get going then, shall we? We'll take the same route we took to get here. Right. We'll be fine, right? There's no one else at school, is there? I think so. Oh, don't look towards the door. The night shift, the night shift janitor uh, shouldn't be patrolling this late at night either. Uh, uh, yeah! uh, why'd the lights go out? Mio? Are you okay? Hello? Mio? She's not here. What's happening? Where... Where are you? <laughs> Is that you controlling it? Yes. Okay. Oh! Oh my god! <laughs> Oh no, 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 what was that? Get me out of here, Mio! Mio! Mio, where are you? Yako, I'm here! Over here, can you see me? Huh, where? I can't see anything! Oh, you're still controlling this. D there you are! There you are, Mio! This way! Over here! Be careful, your field of vision is being limited! Who the hell's cursing me? Right! Oh, jeez. Oh, hell no. Nah. Well? Oh, hell no. Nah. Next time on Paranorma Sight, we gotta get the hell out of Komagana High. Otherwise, we're gonna get cursed and dead and oh, killed to death. Holy shit, that was awesome. Yay. It's about to get evil. Let me look ahead. It's like, uh, Even more awesomer. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, bring it on. See you next time. <laughs>